John? John. John? Okay. John, hello. All right. All right, what are we making, Steven? Well. Why don't we show the blueprint? All right. This is the project we do at SCT for the advanced yeah. uh, production. Yeah. Right next to the drafting. This is a trophy stand, says yep. right down there. All right. What the, the purpose for this is, is for an award ceremony that the drafting and the production crew, crew are working on together. All right. This is a stand made for the 3D printed objects for a specific type of house, there, yep. house, house awards. All right. And so, this is the base, the stand? Yes. The measurements, the whole thing, all that you have. All right. So this is very small, as you can see. We did our solid modeling and we imported it into Mastercam. Yeah, Mastercam. And we got the code for the machine. Yeah. And we tried various, uh, we tried to just hold it like this, but we realized we we're going to have a problem because we have to cut around it the whole way. So. Yeah, and then we thought of a new method, thank you, right. thanks to our teacher. And yeah. this is the new method that brought us. We're going to actually use webs or tabs to hold it together. So we get some three more plates. We made one. We're making an extra one. So, yeah, and we're using this uh, plate as a sacrificial plate. We you went over the drill press and drilled and tapped four quarter twenty holes. So we can use these little clamps. We got a little assortment of clamps here. So you're gonna load the next one. Let's do the one without the price tag on it. So we'll work on that one later. So these should be prepared because we had to cut these on the bandsaw. Put a little wet. Okay, no, no sharp edges, right? So it's going to lay perfectly flat on that. So we're going to place that up there. As long as we cover that boundary, so right, yeah, well, that's pretty good. All right, now let's get the clamps, and then we can leave the clamps in place because we were using those four right there. I'm going to use this wrench to hold them in. I'll leave the wrench right here for you. So you can just hand tighten them, just get them kind of close, and then we'll we'll snug them up when we're when it gets close to being tight. Does it go in easily? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll work on that part, but for now we just want to screw them in and get them, get them kind of close. Because when we get, we're making a couple of these, but if you're thinking of like, what if we had to make a hundred of them, right? So we want to make it so it's easy to load, unload, without much work or time involved, but to be repeatable so we're always getting the same thing. So in this case, we can't unclamp the part that's in the vise, so we put the vise handle away so we wouldn't touch it, because we lose our position. Yes, sir. The uh, machine doesn't really know where the part is. We, we have to set the coordinates. And we're going to put all four corners. So you got two more corners and one more clamp. Now sneak your other clamp up right now. All right. All right. I'm going to get a razor blade. We'll get this one off. We're done prepping. So I stoned the top of it because we had a little burr from where we cut into the blade. So we just took knock that down, make it perfectly flat. Don't need that anymore. This will be scrapped, so throw that somewhere later. And while we're getting ready, let's throw these back in here. Don't that. I'm put my long straight edge away. Open the bench. Throw my coke can away. 
Okay. How's it going, Steve? Looks good. Last one in place. All right. So location looks good. We're now uh, this is a proven program now, right? Because we ran from A to Z yesterday. Yep. We made all our adjustments, everything we needed to do it to make it correct. So do we have the right program in the control? What's that one say? Let's say warm up. This will this program should be run prior to the Yeah, but use. see the title there? It says warm up. So that's our warm up program we run every day. So that's not the right one. We need to find it. Let's go to the list of programs here, right? Um, let's go down, go back into the memory. All right, look through the list. Is there any names there you recognize? Yeah, here it is. Which one? The one with the tabs, right? Yes. All right, so select that program, right? All right. All right, so let's go memory reset. This is ready to run mode right now. Well, let's check and then graphics to double check, all right? Hit settings and then graphics, all right. Now hit cycle start, and we'll kind of see if we recognize the program. Yep, that was the one we ran from yesterday, right? Two cycles around the edge. Yep. Something All right. Like uh, so it's this first part of the day. We want to make sure everything's running good. Let's turn the optional stop on because that'll stop at every tool. And we're at 100% rapid right now. So let's go to 25%. Other than that, uh, we got a full colon tank, I think. And uh, we should be ready to go. All right, so hit memory, reset again, and cycle start. Change the tools. And then we're going to just single block the first tool down just to verify that the, the height looks so right, that nothing happens with the offsets. All right, there's our little tool, right? All right, so I keep on cycle start one at a time. All right, comes over, comes down, right? Hit feet hold for a minute. Try and press the red button. Alright. Let's set up this page so we get the right positions. Hit the position page. And hit it. It's got four different displays. So hit it one more time. That's distance to go. That's where it's going, right? Hit it two more times. That's our coordinates for the part. So we're at three inches above it right now. Yeah. Alright? That looks like three inches or so, right? Yeah. I'll keep on going. So we should be one inch above the front right now. So I think everything looks like it was yesterday, right? Yep. All right, so turn the coolant back on. Coolant looks good. Now let's take the single block off. All right, the cycle start. All right. This is the one that built the slot, right? Yep. Kind of maybe that way in there. We're using the master cam slot milling. So it's ramping in, ramping like zigzagging, right? And because this is aluminum, we're running this uh, at high surface feet per minute. So this machine is this uh, max RPM, so we're pretty much maxed out on RPM. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll go one tool at a time. First part of the day. Uh, even though we ran very good yesterday, we want to make sure today is okay. And then we can run the other tool without having to worry about it. Right. Yeah. right now we're at 64,000 steep, so we're, that's .25 deep, so we got a little way to slot down there. I mean, we could probably, if we were making a lot of these, we'd probably want to start experimenting, knowing how much range we have, but we can increase the, we can increase the RPM, or we can increase feed rate, but we want to make sure we don't ruin the tool or break the tool off. So at this point, I don't know if it's really worth that to gain a little bit of time. You know, we're only making four parts total, so uh, it wouldn't be worth the effort, because the, the reverse would be, we have to go set the tool up again, hoping that part may be bad now, we have to go cut another one, so. It put us behind schedule, so you got to kind of pick your uh, times and whether you want to really, really increase it or do I want to just I'm satisfied with that for now. 
uh, it's a small tool, but sometimes I look at the load meter. If the load meter is way up here, that means it's pushing real hard, so I can't really go any faster than that. But uh, this is actually a very small tool, so I don't think we would see much load with that. Only the bigger tools really put pressure on the spindle. But it actually is increasing the load a little bit. Because I can hear it cutting. Right now it went down to like 1920, and then I see it go to 24, so I know it's doing a little bit. We're at 194 deep right now, so we're almost through. So, so through would be more than 250, right? Yes. All right. So when we're in full automatic mode, we can go to 100%, no optional stop, go from beginning to end. So now you were in our drafting program, right? You're about to graduate. Yes. And now you spent a couple weeks over here learning about manufacturing. Yes. So mainly about this machine and yeah. program. Yeah. So what do you uh, what do you think? Oh, Did I you learn say, a lot? Yeah. yeah. I gotta say I learned yeah. a lot. Here. Yeah. There's a difference how drafting and different about. Right. And I didn't know how hard the production would be. Right. Just like the little details of the drawing I created. Right. That gives me something to think about in the future as well as any one place I go to. Yep. Especially manufacturing. All right. Good. So look at it. While we were talking, it cut through. <laughs> so this, this, and I can see right here in the code, here's the next tool, right? So I can see that makes sense. So I kind of keep track of it by knowing where I'm at. And that's one way of knowing where I'm at. Right. The position. What is going in there? It's a 3D printed piece going in there? 3D printed piece? Yeah, it's yes. going in that? Okay. Alright, so, so we still got the rapid slow down. We have optional stop on, so it stops automatically. So now we can go to the next tool. And sometimes you might want to, let's go just check the progress. And yep, the slot came out fine, looks good. Yeah, alright. So now we can go to the next piece. Alright. Cycle start again, and this time we'll single block our way down just to double check. All right, keep on going. Like the right tool. Yep. And bring it down, and we're going to that one inch mark again. All right. So right there, we're at one inch. Looks like one inch. We know it ran successfully yesterday, so now we can. Let it run in automatic mode. Right. We'll take it out of single block and then cycle that again. Alright, so this one does a little more cutting. And I remember we reduced the feed rate by 50% because we're not we were unsure of our clamping because our, it really isn't that the problem of how much can we cut but how much power do we have to clamp by. So we want to make sure we're successful, and we, but we can learn from this that maybe next time we'll, we'll have better clamping. We can probably add, we can probably add two more clamps in there probably, yeah. in the middle, right? Yeah. But we had to reprogram it a couple of times to make sure we didn't hit the clamps, so. Yeah, that's why this one didn't look out so well. Right. Yeah, we're using multi-pass. Where's that first? This one here? Yeah. And we were way, way out here. And you know, our clamps were overlapping. So we decided we didn't need all that. We just needed two cuts. projects we can learn to experiment more to be a little bit more productive get better finish you know because this does need some hand work when it's done 
or bench, we call it bench work. So it hasn't moved at all. Right. Good. All right, excellent. All right. Okay, let's do the last cut. Let's go back to single block. Okay. After this, once we go prove that it works from A to Z without, without doing anything, then we can let it run full speed. Okay, go ahead. like the same position as all the other ones, right? Yep. All right. Take it out of single block, and we'll let that one cut. So this one's got the tab. Yeah. So this actually goes along and it goes up and over. We actually did two depths. I didn't do it a full depth. We, we programmed it because we weren't sure how much force we're putting sideways. We don't want it to unclamp, so we decided to do two levels. So, just to be safe. Why would you mention this earlier? You might want to have a sound point. Yeah. Well, we got the sound. I gave you a set of uh, hearing. I'm looking about your yeah. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. Muffles it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were because it does get squealy, easy. right? I got easy. Yeah. But these are the kind of sounds you want to say. If this worked correctly, these are the sounds I should expect. And if it sounds